All right, cool. I'm going to move quick. This is going to be, can you tell me my car's worth over the phone? This is a pretty simple one. I don't care what kind of dealership you work in. Doesn't matter. People, when they come in to buy a car, if they've given you information on their trade-in, they could ask a question like, what's my trade-in worth? Am I right? That's all we're going to play. It's going to be simple. It's a very easy question. We're going to handle it. Cool. I'm going to start with you. Is that cool? Roman, we got you, baby. Come on up to the mic so we can hear you. Big, sexy Roman. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. So listen, so, so it's going to be pretty simple. Hey, Roman. Hey, listen, number one, I appreciate you giving me all the information on the 2018 F-150, whatever, right? Like, thank you. By the way, I gave you all the information on my car. All right. Yeah. Um, can you tell me what my car's worth on the phone before I come down? I think right now the car's worth more is the best time right now because the market's real low on inventory. If you're ever going to get the best price, it's going to be right now. Of course, we still got to see it, drive it and all that. So I could actually give you, you know, the, as much as possible. But it's the best time you could come in so we can check it out. Okay, cool. Hey, but look, I gave you all the information on it, right? Correct. Yeah. Could you give me a ballpark of maybe what it's worth? I know it's going to be more than you think. Where's the best time you could come in? So, Where's like, do you want me to tell you what I think and then it'll be more? Possibly. I got to see it. Did you pick it in today? Okay, hold on. No, but he's not doing too bad, right? I know we always want to kill people when they're up here, right? We're like, like yeah, 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 whistle yeah, his yeah, ass, yeah. right? <laughs> but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's just shift for a second, okay? Yeah. All right, Roman. All right, I'm going to run you. Is that cool? Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. So, hey, I want to know what my car is worth. It's going to be pretty simple. Hey, thanks for giving me all the information on the car that I called about, right? You have the information on my vehicle. Um, what is my trade in worth? Can you tell me that over the phone? Andy, first and foremost, thank you for all that information on your trade. It sounds like you have a great vehicle, and we would love to check it out. In order to get you the most accurate bid for your vehicle, we would need to see it. When's it. When can you come down and check it out? Well, so the last two times I bought a car, they told me what it was worth over the phone, right? And obviously, it's the age of the internet. So I was just going to see if you could kind of do that same thing. And then if we can handle that part, then I'll come down. I don't want to give you the worst price out there. And in order to get you the best, most accurate price, we really need to see it. Is there any time that works today or tomorrow for you? Okay, so stop. Let's just stop there real quick, okay? What I want everybody to understand is this. I get it. I know exactly what's going on here. Number one, we know that we don't want to give them a number, right? Because we know whatever number we give them, they're not going to be okay with it. Everybody agree? When's the last time you gave a guy a number over the phone? He was like, oh my God, that was more than I was thinking. He's like, oh my God. Rio, you remember that? Salvador, when's the last time you gave somebody a number and they're like, damn, I didn't know I was going to get that much. Dude, that didn't happen, okay? Here's also the other deal. We know that when we give them a number for the trade, we give them a right to shop, am I right? All right, so let's do this. In our minds, let's play 99% of the world, then let's play 1%. You are gonna have a 1% asshole that if you don't give them a number, I don't care how good you are. Listen to me, Andy Elliott, 50 objections on him, handling it, mass and certainty, best friend, we're going out to dinner afterwards when he comes. It doesn't matter. He doesn't get the number, he ain't coming. I get it. But don't think that everybody's that guy. By the way, y'all remember Rocky, right? You remember that it was like, don't get down for the 10 count, round 11, he came back one. Good, great, unstoppable, okay? Your goal is to be able to go multiple rounds with a customer without them feeling that they're going multiple rounds with you. Make sure you understand that. You need to keep all friction out of the deal. All friction. If I tell you I can't tell you that, and you said to me, you said, I don't want to give you a bad number, right? Well, I wasn't thinking you were, but now I am. You know what I'm saying? Shit, am I going to get a bad number? It's like, look, that's not what you wanted to say, was it? But you said it. This is why we train. Listen, guys, you're one word away from making a woman fall in love with you and one word away from making her fall out of love with you. You're one word away from closing a deal, one word away from having them leave. Your words are everything. It's not always what you say, it's also how you say it. One of the stores that we train where you're at, right? Okay, we got the Daily Twins over there where you're at, right? And what do they do? They're great closers, they sell a lot of cars, they're twins, they're 50 year old twins, kind of like the twins we got working here. But guess what, the coolest thing about them, they're great salespeople, am I right? They go in and say the same thing that a lot of the other salespeople say, they just say it better. That's it, they love it. They literally are winning because of their attitude, because of their belief. So how important is belief in your attitude? Everything. You guys, how important is it for you to be able to tell a story? Everything. Listen to me. Telling a story means this. You can talk to me, have a real conversation with me, and actually be able to make it seem like the things that you're telling me, I can picture a story of that happening for me in my head while you're talking to me. Does that make sense? And now I'll give up on my beliefs that I needed to know what my trade-in was worth now to come in, and I'll actually be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll just come down. Is that what we want? Yes, but you have to be able to communicate that, right? So let's start out with rounds. Good, great, unstoppable. What's the first thing we do? 
Well, number one, you don't want to say, I need to talk to my manager. Hey, I need to know what my trade's worth. Well, I need to talk to my manager. What does that do when you say, I need to talk to my manager? Uh, it gives away all the authority that you have to help them. I'm going to explain this to you. If you really want to be that car salesman that people feel like that can't help them, say the words, let me talk to my manager. And by the way, all it's going to make me deal like is, it feel like now is I don't need to talk to you anymore and I need to talk to your manager. And then what are you going to do? Go tell your manager, this guy's not going to come in unless he gets the numbers for his trade. You're setting up your own death. You're hanging yourself. Cut the leash. All right, you guys aren't a second rated version of me. You're a first rated version of yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, the way that I speak, the way that I talk, the, my tonality, the way that I believe, I would love for you to steal that. The words that come out of your mouth, just make sure they're good words that advance the self forward. It's all I care about, okay? So which one of my coaches want to handle this one? Somebody want to handle this? Yeah. Ryan, you got it? Hey, Andy, I'm so glad you asked that. Look, Andy, are you familiar with what an independent car buyer is? They're professionals that work with dealerships just like ours that often give the most money for trade-ins. I actually have one coming here. He's the best one in Arizona. He's gonna be here this afternoon. What time can you make it in this afternoon so we can get you the most money you'll ever get ever for your vehicle?